Um, sunny weather. I know you don't see anything but the sun, but this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. Saturday, Poland, great weather. Guys, let's go out and ride. Uh, I want to thank you very much for the response uh, on my yesterday's episode. It was wonderful reading your comments uh, from Brazil, Croatia. Thank you very much. Uh, US, certainly Canada and UK. It was awesome. And the Zwift ride yesterday, the Friday Criterium race was just, you know, blowing up my legs. I, I came like 75th out of 150, something, something like that. And it was pretty awesome. So we're going to be meeting there uh, more often. Today we're making an in-depth review of the TRP Spire C uh, disc brakes. These are mechanical ones. Uh, you know the bike from the channel already. This is Marin Gestalt, a gravel bike. Uh, and those brakes uh, I've been uh, testing on two bikes, uh, Cyclocross Merida, uh, Merida Cyclocross 500 uh, and this one. And I like uh, those brakes. Now this is not a comparison of um, mechanical disc brakes on road bikes versus um, hydraulic disc brakes. I'm going to do that when the, the bike with the hydraulic disc brakes come and it will come very very soon. Two bikes are coming, road bike, super machine and the cross country racing uh, bike. So I can't wait guys, but today TRP Spire C on the uh, Marin Gestadt. I'd like to mention uh, at least uh, a couple of advantages we, which are just obvious for these brakes. Number one, in my opinion, from my perspective, from you know my point of view, is the simplicity. I love the simplicity of you know my bike and all the parts. So the simplicity is number one. Number two is design. I'm gonna tell you why. That's number two. Number three that's uh, the waterproofness can we say i mean even weatherproofness can we say that these are really weatherproof you can use those for any conditions outside and those will just break as you want so i really really like it and the final factor that is super important for me and really convinces me to to use uh, these brakes on the road bike is that you don't wear down your rims, especially if you want to have some really cool wheels. So let's start with the uh, first one, which is the simplicity. Uh, I'm going to show you that you can pretty much use only where I have those two simple Allen keys in order to do pretty much pretty much everything uh, on the bike. You can adjust the, the pads, you can replace the pads you can um, adjust the whole thing you can just remove it by using those uh, two these two uh, uh, allen keys and this is super important all right so simplicity um, especially for myself when i'm going to be replacing the um, uh, the calipers in order to test uh, put to test different models it will be so easy i'm going to show you that just at the end and then we'll also weigh uh, the caliper and see whether um, the manufacturer tell us the truth about uh, 164 grams or something like that. Number two, design. These are double piston and mechanical disc brakes. What that means is that, let's just look at the front one, while we brake, this moving part, this, this arm here, this one here, is uh, pushing inwards on both sides uh, uh, on, on our pistons. That means that the pads are coming closer, are, are actuating uh, just evenly on both sides. And that also translates to very good um, uh, power on those brakes, that's my opinion. And also um, we are wearing uh, the disc brakes and the pads evenly on both sides. Super important thing this works very very well well so we have uh, two pistons on both sides and this design really really uh, works number three and this is gonna be a kind of um, comparison between disc brakes uh, on the uh, on the road bike versus uh, caliper brakes and that's the being weatherproof you can really feel when it's just you know raining on your caliper brakes that those won't break that well well on the aluminum rim brake it will be quite okay but still you will wait much longer until 
uh, until actually it has to heat up uh, and, and dry up the, the surface so that, so that you will have your 100% of the, of the braking power. Here you simply push the brake and and it break, breaking lever, lever and uh, it works. Other thing is also <laughs> when you have your carbon rims with carbon fiber uh, braking surface, uh, braking on the, on the wet conditions is just, you know, pain, really pain. It can be pain. Here you can put any wheels you want and the braking power will remain, remain still the same. So uh, I'm really surprised that um, the manufacturers came up so late with the disc brakes on the road bike because uh, we've been having disc brakes on the mountain bikes for years already. I still have V brakes on my killer anyway. So I'm really convinced disc brakes, that's the way to go. The other question probably you're gonna ask me is uh, hydraulic versus uh, mechanical. How much better hydraulic are? And just wait for the episode when the hydraulic uh, disc brakes uh, come uh, on the road bike but um, so far I'm super happy with mechanical disc brakes really and comparing disc brakes to calipers I would say all the advantages and pretty much no disadvantages of the uh, of your disc brakes and when it comes to braking power well uh, I just have let's just close the window sorry uh, I just have a feeling that those levers, now these are compatible with all kinds of mechanical uh, braking levers, but I feel that these uh, SRAM uh, Apex are not as strong as I had it on my Merida, which was suspect with uh, 105s. Now, this can be, of course, just, you know, my feeling because, you know, 105s are just longer, it just look like it would have more leverage for your for brakes but i do feel that riding on the hoods here doesn't make me so sure that i will break very very hard in, if i have to uh, suddenly so i felt better on shimano 105s that that's how i felt this is not a scientific approach but uh, i felt 105 on merida with the trp spire uh, brakes were just stronger uh, yeah, and finally, <laughs> the thing about the wheels, uh, you can just buy to your, you, you can upgrade your bike with any wheels uh, and you're not wearing the rim down. So um, eventually I'm going also to, to have some really nice wheels uh, on my bike uh, and we are only wearing down the disc brake, uh, the, the rotor of the, of the disc brake, which is really, really a cool thing. So in terms of the braking power, we really have enough. Uh, on this bike in particular, one thing that should be, in my opinion, um, done better or maybe differently is the housing for the rear brake. I mean, you know, the braking power is just okay, if not great, but I would say just okay. But this housing here, as you can see, it moves along on a, actually on a whole whole um, length of this uh, of this um, housing it just moves and that means that your brakes are getting a bit uh, more spongy these are not really spongy but you can feel now i'm working more on, on moving the housing instead of actually uh, pressing those uh, braking pads against the the rudder so i really prefer having this part here just opened and housing only there uh, when it's really needed, when we bend, when it bends and you know the, the cable itself uh, would not do the job here and having some, some uh, really nice nicely made rubbers that seal up the uh, whole thing um, would just do the job. So I don't like when the housing bends on the straights, right? Because this tube is straight so bending here doesn't make your brakes um, really good. Uh, another really good thing is also that we have bar adjusters so we can adjust the tension uh, on, on our cable and it works just so fine. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna just show you uh, how we can uh, uh, just operate on anything uh, here by using two Allen keys. So let's look at it. Two Allen keys number five and number three uh, in order to remove the caliper from the bike I'm just releasing my cable and finally 
I'm dismounting a whole thing by using uh, these two. These are all the parts uh, of our caliper. Uh, the pads are almost new. We have just additional weight of the dirt, but just a little bit, maybe a gram or so, not more. And my scale shows 100, 152 grams. So manufacturers certainly did not lie about the weight. They, they tell us 164, I guess. It's 153 right now on my scale. So it is very, very cool. Now, what I like about these in terms of the design, we have here the uh, barrel adjuster. So we can adjust pretty much anything uh, on this, um, on this uh, brake. If your braking pads uh, wear down, uh, you can put some more tension on the cable, but also you can use your three millimeter Allen key and those two screws on both sides because, th because this is a dual pivot design and you can center your uh, your pads against the, the rotor and also you can choose how much of a distance you want to have between the, the pads and the rotor which is super cool uh, and also uh, one that's one thing that that's uh, worth mentioning here uh, it's good to have your uh, your arm like fully extended uh, and rather use those two screws in order to to um, adjust the distance because then you have uh, more leverage on the whole thing right so Number five key, uh, you can uh, put, put and assemble it to the bike. Number three, you can adjust anything uh, on it. And then also, if we want to remove uh, the braking pads, there is this one little thing, protection. Uh, we use also this Allen key and it will be super easy. Uh, when we deal with mechanical brakes, we don't have to be worrying about uh, any oil leaking and so on. Also, if you have uh, your, your, your bike in the car without the, uh, the um, uh, wheels, you don't have to uh, be worrying about it as well. So these are the, the braking pads. Uh, another thing is also that this is compatible with Shimano. Um, braking pads which is cool and here are those two pistons maybe you'll see now how they work this is how it works even movement great thing I just love it it is so simple uh, and braking pads look like this super easy to replace it uh, super easy to adjust anything and it will be super easy for myself to just uh, put on the bike different stuff uh, and test it I have never had any problems with uh, those uh, brakes rubbing. Oh, the bike is now okay. So when we spin the wheel, there is no rubbing whatsoever. I had no problems uh, removing the wheels from the bike, putting them back on both the rear and front and no typical sound for quite a few quite a few uh, uh, disc brakes uh, on different bikes both road and mountain that's it i really like it it doesn't cost uh, so much it is simple it breaks it works in different uh, weather conditions and certainly i'm not being paid for showing you that i think this is the the stuff i would like to have uh, on my bike I'm gonna be racing on the road bike if you have any questions you know what to do please uh, do this YouTube YouTube thing and <laughs> and click uh, the like button if you like uh, those episodes and I will see you tomorrow uh, this will be probably about training see you guys